In this how-to video, we're going to review drawings. I've been asked to document this part, so I'm creating a new drawing from this design. It defaults to full assembly, or in this case, a part, and I'm using the standard ISO. Click on OK. So the front view is what the orientation is, and that's good in this case, so I'm going to click to place that view, and then click OK. You'll notice that I have a number of styles that I can select from. The visible and hidden edges works in this particular case. So I'll click OK. Now I want to create three more views. So from the marking menu, I'm going to go to projected view. Select my base view, drag to the left, and then create a couple of more views. And then click to place that and OK. Next thing I want to do is edit the pictorial view. So from the marking menu, Edit View, and I want to change the style to Shaded with Visible Edges, and then change from Full Length to Shorten for those tangential edges. Click Close, and that looks better. Up to Annotation, select Center Line. Generally better start placing center lines and center marks before you think of placing dimensions. Click OK. Now that line's a bit short, so I'm going to go in and select it, and then click on the little arrowhead and drag that down. In annotation again, I'm going to select center mark, select the four small circles first, and then one of the larger circles in the center. I'm now going to go to a dimension style. I can get them from that menu, or again from the marking menu, annotation. I have a number of options here. I'm going to select linear dimension and select the two endpoints. Drag the preview to the left and click to place that dimension. And then similarly for the horizontal dimension. I want to change the style, so I'm going to go back to my marking menu, so right click and select the radius, select one of those, and then change that from annotation to diameter, and select one of the circles. Now I'm zoomed right in here. If I want to zoom out, what I can do is go down to fit the view. So click on there, that takes me out to my full drawing. And I want to place some text. Make a note of what the material is. So I'm just going to click in Material. In this case, it's nylon. And click to place that text. If I double click on the title block, I can fill in all the information I need for this project. I'll just click Cancel. And that's a good start on annotating the drawing.